Well, I just wanted to post a message in support of Israel Folau, I think. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But he's an Australian rugby player. One of the best that Australia have. And uh, they've sacked him because he disagrees with homosexuality. And I don't have Twitter. I don't have Instagram. I can't message him myself and offer support. So I thought I'd just do a YouTube post to express my support for Israel. And you might say, well, why am I supporting someone who's homophobic? Well, he's not homophobic, and let me explain why. Let me explain why with a question. Which is better, to flatter someone to hell, or to love them, and even to scare them into going to heaven? Because, as Israel said, he's just stating basic Christian belief. He wasn't singling out homosexuality, he was mentioning drunk, drunkards, and adulterers, and thieves, and all sorts of things. If our lives are defined by what the Bible defines as sin, then we will go to hell. But if we repent, if we turn from our sins and trust in Jesus to forgive us whatever we've done, he will forgive us, he will accept us, he will love us. You know, the core of the Christian faith is not homophobia, it's not Islamophobia, it's not bigotry, as people claim. It's actually love. But the thing with love is, if you see something that's wrong, that's unloving, that's hateful and sinful, evil, then you're going to challenge it, you're going to question it, you're going to encourage people to not live that way. It's not forcing your views on anyone, it's just expressing a belief. And it's, you know, supposedly Australia, a free country, so you'd have thought... Israel could express his view without being penalised for it. But we live in an increasingly intolerant, totalitarian world. And what I really want to emphasise is to Israel, if, if anyone's friends with him, can pass this video on to him, encouragement from a, a British brother. Um, I want to encourage Israel by saying, you are blessed. And you might think that's a bit weird to say, he's just lost his job. It's a bit weird to, to tell him that he's blessed. But that's what Jesus says, isn't it? He says, blessed are you when you are persecuted, when people insult you, mock you, falsely say all kinds of evil against you. Because they did that to the prophets back in the day. They did that to Jesus. And as Christians were to expect persecution, and persecution means that we're blessed because great is our reward in heaven. We're not living for this world. We're not living to be flattered. We're not living to get people to speak well of us. Oh, he, he keeps his views to himself. He keeps quiet. He's a good boy. We'll uh, accept him. No, as Christians, we're not going to be accepted by the world because we don't belong to the world. We're citizens of heaven. So we're to love people into heaven. Maybe Israel has overemphasized hell. Maybe he needs to say, don't matter what you've done, but you can go to heaven by trusting in Jesus. But really, I'm, I'm totally behind him. He's t totally... Uh, within his rights to express his views. It's actually okay to disagree with people. You can still love people and disagree with them. For example, if my daughter, when she's a bit older, decided to run out into the road and play, I would not accept that. I would say, no, come on, um, come in, play in the garden. It's not safe in the road. And you know, in a similar way, if, if you as a Christian see someone living in a way that's not going to get them to heaven, you might want to say something. Because if you know the way to heaven and you don't tell anyone, that's really bad. Because you're like a miser, you're keeping it to yourself. But if you know that if someone lives a certain way, they're going to hell, and that if they turn from that way, they go to heaven, then of course you're going to tell them. It's out of love that Israel has been saying these things. So Israel, if you're listening, love from uh, Britain, and uh, you are blessed. And keep up the good work, and stay strong, and um, keep spreading the good news of salvation in Jesus. It's not all doom and gloom, it's not all hell, fire and brimstone. It's about going to heaven, having a relationship with God, through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.